Big up Rebel to invite me upon him thing again. Celestia lives and reigns in the heart of all flesh. Now my art is not the business. Me now we are him dead before me say my living legend. Before me rate him and big him up. My art is what the turbulence to the world is sitting like a country. Put your right finger on But anyway though, know, seriously before we move on to the next act though, Jano, Jamaica. Really nice to see all of us come together here, even though foreigners mix in the mix too, but why we can't behave yourself, man? And so go on, Rasta, we really have to take over Jamaica and Rasta. You know, see, ball of them get out of hand, man. Rape, baby, kill off, woman, all, hang all self and all them things, Rasta. No, Rasta have to really take over a place, man. You realize that? Our granny, them are sick off with all some things we don't know nothing about. If we boil up back some bush, Rasta, bring it back to the elders, them, and teach the children, them again. You understand? And teach the people, them, about the love of His Majesty and... His Majesty teaching, cause without that, you know, see Ballet gone astray. Yeah, man, Ballet gone astray. Why we Ballet, me no know. John know. We take away poke from here, still gone. I know. We we'll try to help you again, still Ballet. But right now, Rebel Salute coming from England. You see this virgin coming up on the stage right now? If the Queen could have killed him, she killed him already, you know, man. MI5, they tried. I mean, I think even Hitler try off him grandfather, I never get him. This is one serious Rasta man coming up on the stage right now. Is it me? So big up Jamaica Tourist Board, IRFM, Grace. Big up One Spot Media, TVJ, Caribbean Airlines, Star. Big up Mellow FM. And big up from England, the one and only, Maka B! Maka! Rastafari, Rebel Salud Greetings in the name of His Imperial Majesty and Pride of Celestia Rebel Salud, take it on Lord Celestia Yes, I. Well, we give thanks for the herb. We pick up the herb curb. And we don't say marijuana decriminalizing Jamaica, but them take long. You know, I say in America, them have a long time. But we give thanks. Play it low. The other day, I was in California. Eh? Me and my brethren are driving on the highway. When some police come over and say, pull over up on the hard shoulder. The officer said to my brethren, do you have any marijuana in the car? My brethren said, yes, officer, I do. I have an ounce or two. Then he showed the officer a card. And the officer said, okay, be on your way and have a good day. Me said to my brethren, what kind of card that? You a diplomat? He said, no, Maccabee, that's my medical marijuana card for me asthma. You see, as soon as me go back to England, me go to me doctor, me say, doctor, cho, give me the card like the doctor, they my broad. Me say, me want a medical marijuana card, and the medicine we hold in a high regard. Me say, me want a medical marijuana card, me say, they go for the asthma. Pull up! Rebel Salud! A the fireman out of England! Maka be no stop juke them! Maka! Give me say to the doctor, one job! Give me the card like the doctor, they my broad! Me say me want a medical marijuana card! How the medicine go hold in a high regard? Me say me want a medical marijuana card! Me say they go for the asthma! The multiple sclerosis and they go for the cancer! They go for my brain and they go for the coma! I go for a reliever for the stress in my lower man! Play lower! 
So we start have a conversation with the doctor. Then call Maccabee the lyrics machine, you know. I want you to listen good. Well, anyway, doc, you see me, I get older. And me find me have a little pain in my shoulder. It helps me massage it and go to the sauna. The best pain reliever is the marijuana. You know, say, I don't lie, doc, you know me, I don't fake. Just give me the card, doctor, give me the paper. Only this morning me get this headache yeah. I need some medicine from Jamaica Remember, give me the card like the doctor did my brother Me say me want a medical marijuana card yeah. I the medicine be holding a high regard Play low Me tell him about my affliction Then he get the pen and him I write the prescription don't give me no pill, doctor, that is addiction Me really want the herb, but me no want the conviction The doctor tell me, say, him know the herb or the cure, man We have some in the chemist, but don't tell no one Don't feel no way, doc, I don't want your one Me and me wanna come from Westmoreland, baby Give it full love Oh, you mean? And you know what's the best? Hold it! You know what's the best ganja in the world come from Jamaica? If you know I said the best ganja in the world come from Jamaica, let me see some flag, let me see some hand if you know the best ganja in the world. Yeah, man. Why you think America come burn down the ganja fields? Because they know Jamaica are the best. So them start growing the most. So all me I say is, like how the ganja decriminalize, don't make them come chemical up your ganja. Keep the natural Jamaican ganja. We see the sun and the ground. Natural. Real plant. And that's how we want. Real weed. And that's how we need. No chemical grade. Jamaica. I don't want no chemical, I don't want no chemical ganja Just give me the natural, I don't want no chemical I don't want no chemical, I don't want no chemical ganja Just give me the natural, I don't want no chemical When I need, when I need, when I need, when I need, when I need No chemical way, just give me the good, 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 good ganja from the natural seed I don't want, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want no chemical plant Give me the good, 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 good ganja, make me charge Bit of fee bun Natural herb of fee bun, bun, bun Bit of fee bun Natural herb of a bun, bun, bun Balance! Well, you know, say reggae music of the best ganja song No disrespect to Snoop Dogg No disrespect to Wiz Khalifa A reggae music make the best ganja song Why you say rebel salute? Yeah, man! Hear them, yeah? Watch up! You got to have Kaya now Well that is Bob Marley and Under me sense he is Barrington Levy and Under me slang thing is Wayne Cement and Peter Tosh the legalization Give me the way that I take it Pull up! That is a fact So I cannot talk about the country That said to Dr. Sebi Dr. Sebi Whenever you want to return to Africa and begin this new empire, you have 5,000 acres of land and six hot springs. I don't need anything else. Hot springs? Five hot springs with 5,000 acres of land? We could grow food. We could make the best dress. I said, sir, I am not going to come to your country unless I'm able to grow marijuana. He said, marijuana? <laughs> he said, wait just a minute. He said, I can't do that. I say, well, the compounds I've been giving your nephew that had, that was autistic, that now is talking was marijuana. And as for you is concerned, when I came here, you weren't walking. You were dying. Now you're running up the steps in the presidency. Yes, marijuana. That's a God's product. That's not cigarettes. You see what happened? My brother used to smoke cigarettes. But my brother didn't know that the tobacco that he was smoking was artificial. God didn't make that. But marijuana, God did make that. So it must have been a good reason why I was told in school that everything God made is good. Well, I know that. I live that. And I always will smoke it for as long as I live. Why? Because I have that right. I have that right. It's not everybody that uses it. 
from autism to arthritis is cured because everything that God made is good. Uh, before we get out of here, I had a couple more questions for you, Dr. Sabi. Um, marijuana. <sighs> Can you smoke too much? Is there such a thing? Well, I'm 80 <laughs> years of age. Yeah. I've been smoking marijuana ever since I was 14. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't believe that I don't believe I'm a good candidate to answer that question. I think you're a great candidate, especially if you're heal helping to heal people of disease. And you know, different healers might say that you know smoking too much can cause adverse, you know, something uh, negative. Uh, well, in the body, I if you only do been too smoking much. it for 66 years, so yeah. I think it needs some more time for me to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so there's that. But there's a book written in Ecuador. Yeah. Hierbas medicinales del Ecuador, medicinal herbs of Ecuador, and one of them is marijuana. And they had four pages of it, and I began to read because I'm, I speak Spanish, I understand Spanish. In fact, I learn a lot from them. Yeah. So, in this book, they show that marijuana cures, oh, 20 plus diseases, which I know is true. Nervous problems, six, like, for instance, uh, delirium tremens, Parkinson's disease, epilepsy. The man that was killed by us here in Los Angeles that was blind, Mr. Fredericks, his daughter was suffering with epilepsy, mm -hmm. two grand mall a day. I gave her one tablespoon of a tincture of marijuana she didn't have another one i make mm. right now i had a man in the village you know we have a healing village in honduras mm -hmm. you could go online and see it the usha healing village in honduras a man went on with parkinson's disease in a wheelchair well we know that people have these prejudices against god we do we don't use what god made we use what man made in the laboratory marijuana is not like tobacco Tobacco was made in the laboratory. Mm -hmm. Everybody smokes cigarettes freely, but marijuana is prohibited because it's God. So I have to be careful in telling folks what I give them. So the sisters in the village in Honduras made some brownies. <laughs> I was going to ask about the treats. <laughs> and they put the marijuana in the brownies. Uh huh. And then when the people, the patient was eating it, they said, wow, <laughs> I slept last night. Like I've never slept. <laughs> the other one said, well, I'm not shaking anymore. I'm not shaking. Look, I'm not shaking. I'm not shaking. Oh, no. I want some more of those cookies. <laughs> so you do think that you can still receive the medicinal effects through all the treats that are being created now. You get it in lollipops and brownies and then all kinds of stuff. Yeah, today. but it has to be natural marijuana. It so there is a lot of unnatural marijuana. No, out there, we cannot use think? the hybrid. You know, the, hybrid. they talk about Kush and all that stuff. Yeah, that's hybrid. I got we you. We talk about the real marijuana with seeds. That's medicinal. <laughs> that's gotcha, wrong. gotcha. Let us start our class with a prayer. In the name of the African ancestors who began the march of humankind in the womb of Mother Africa, we ask these ancestors to be with us, to strengthen us, and give us a vision for the future. In the name of the African ancestors who began the march of humankind in the womb of Mother Africa and marched down the Nile, laying the foundations for human civilization and culture, we ask these Africans to be with us, to strengthen us, and give us a vision for the future. In the name of these African ancestors who built their pyramids and their temples to their God concepts, to their principles, and to their moral values, who left us a legacy of architectural and monumental building unparalleled in the history of the world, we ask these ancestors who built the pyramids, who built the temples, to be with us, to strengthen us, and give us a vision for the future. We ask these African ancestors who took this African culture and extended it throughout Africa, building the stone cities of Zimbabwe, building the empires of the Sudan, Ghana, Mali, and Sangai, building the Swahili city-states along the east coast of Africa, and in Christian Africa, asking King Lalibela and giving him the courage to build the 12 churches of Lalibela from the ground down, monuments to the world. We ask these Africans who spread this culture to the Dogo and to the Akan and to the Yoruba and to the Bankongo and to the Nzulu. We ask these Africans to be with us, to strengthen us and give us a vision for the future. In the name of the Africans who opened up Africa, opened up the Nile Valley to other cultures and other peoples and they came in and nurtured themselves on the African greatness. First coming in early with the ancient Hebrews 
and they synthesized this culture and produced Judaism. Later coming in were the Christians and they synthesized this culture and produced Christianity. Coming in were also the Greeks who took the African culture, synthesized it and produced Greek civilization. And then later the Prophet Muhammad and with the Arabs coming into the Nile Valley, they synthesized the culture and produced Islam. We ask these African ancestors who as part of their legacy laid the foundations for Judaism, Christianity, Islam and Greek civilization to be with us, to strengthen us and give us a vision for the future. We ask those African ancestors pulled out of Africa, taken to the hells of North America, South America, the Caribbean, maintaining the spirit of African humanity in their hearts and in their minds, and who left us this enormous legacy of struggle. We ask those Africans who resisted enslavement in the villages of Africa, who resisted enslavement in the shores of Africa, who resisted enslavement in those forts and dungeons, who resisted enslavement in the holes of those ships, who resisted enslavement when they arrived on these shores in the New World, we ask these Africans who ran into the highlands of Northeast Brazil and established for 100 years the first free republic in the Americas, the Republic of Palmares, and their last great leader, Zumbi, whose spirit and sacrifice. We ask these Africans who replicated the Brazilian experience and went into the highlands of Jamaica and became the maroon free communities. We ask these Africans who went into the backwoods of the Guyanas and Suriname and created free republic of the Suramaka and the Ajuka. We ask these Africans who went into the backwoods of Georgia and the swamps of Florida and moved with the Seminole Indians and resisted oppression. We ask these Africans who left us a legacy of struggle and resistance, the likes of which no one in the world has to be with us, to strengthen us, and give us a vision for the future. We ask these Africans who created and laid for us a foundation of struggle and resistance that was passed on generation after generation that was passed on to Harriet Tubman, who fought away out of enslavement and became a symbol of freedom for all of us. Similarly, Frederick Douglass and hundreds of thousands of others fought their way out of enslavement. We ask those Africans who went with Bookman Dessalines to create the greatest revolutionary experience in the history of the world, the Haitian Revolution, leaving us a legacy, the likes of which no one else has had. We ask these Africans to be with us, to strengthen us, and give us a vision for the future. And as you talk about radio stations, um, colleague, brother, and friend, uh, Jerry Small, also in the IRFM boat, uh, Jerry Small from News Talk 93. Hey, Jerry, morning. Welcome uh, to the welcome to the IRFM boot, <laughs> first of all. And uh, I know you must have been checking out the, the Herb Curb. We're very certain of that. While Jerry gets his um, headphone on and so on, let me have a quick chat with uh, Rance Jomo. Uh, Jomo, you were saying? Sorry. Yeah, I think that one of the most important things also is that you have to realize that this is now an, an international festival heavy. Uh, I've been coming, and if you take a look at the different sections, you can see that from all over the world, People are coming here to see the roots of music, to see the roots of how Jamaican community celebrate the icons that are traveling and doing work around the world. As, as an international festival, there are certain expectations uh, that, that are perceived overseas that this caliber has now uh, rise to. People are planning, you know, months in advance to come to this place. We're always bringing new people and letting ones know around the world about how important it is to be here at this time and to, to be able to see many of these living icons. I've been here for a while and many of the ones who came on stage don't come again the next year, you know? So while we have these, these beautiful lives in the flesh, I think it's important to see the living lessons and to hear the stories. I talked with Ken Booth today and to talk about the struggles, the life, the lessons. It's very important to hear that personally, you know, how, how music came to be, not just the hype, but how the history and the, and the culture, as well as from the Rast elders. Thank you so much, uh, Jomo. Uh, Jerry, morning again. Hi, how are you doing? Greetings. You? Good to see you a long time. I could do a little hugging at the meantime while, while, while we say how they do. Why don't have a video? Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. That was a big, you know. All right, um, Jerry, the... You've been here, I know, and you've always been at Rebel Salute. Um, we're just asking for your perception because, and, and, and a commentary on comparing what we've seen over the years and what this year um, looks like, especially with the addition of a herb curb and so on. No, um, understandably, once there was a, from the first time I went to Rebel Salute at Brooks Park, I know that this would be the biggest yeah. show. Well, in Jamaica, but it's a one, it was a one day, one mm, night thing. Yes. And I understand, it, it was um, it was inevitable that it would go to more than one night. If yes. we're going to go to more than one night, 
it's going to be a, have to be at a place where accommodation is available. Mm-hmm. So I wasn't surprised when I moved from Alligator Pond um, so, the, 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 to, to, to somewhere like this. Yeah, yeah. Um, now, the security here is good and the discipline. And I went through the rigors of the check at the gate and all them things. I don't have any complaints because the rigor and the security is good. And business, people learn how to handle business. So you're, a check for, you're a check for contraband? Yes, man. And, and, yes. and, and if, you have a, if you're going to run a nation, you're going to go have to have speed cop. But they are a star not you have to have speed cop. You have to have immigration and them things. It's good mm-hmm. experience. Mm-hmm. And in terms of the, the, the mixture now, because now we're seeing more tourists more tourists more yeah. tourists it looked that way at least yeah, yeah. um we're seeing that uh joe Ma talked earlier about um what appear to be a little bit more international but a little bit of national sponsorship yeah, yeah. um we can talk to rebel about that but that we, we're seeing that yeah, aren't we yeah, yes. you, know, you know two yeah. years ago he did a written to complain yes that um mm-hmm. jazz and blues was getting it and it was getting it. Oh, jazz and blues is canceled. Mm-hmm. Jazz and blues now is now canceled this year. Or is it? And, um, no, they, they, they say <laughs> I want it to be really big next year, so they're going to skip this year. I want them. And Rebel Salute yeah. um, apparently is attracting. Yeah, yeah. All I right. talked about the Ganja thing. Yes. I, I must say two things. I will congratulate you on the way how you did um, penetrate the Negril event and highlight how meanwhile we were on the ground there the business people were doing something um, otherwise yes, you know and, yes, and they, Obama, Obama did want that the, the big companies that will allow you Mm-hmm. to turn this into a silver bullet and jerry we have to we have to we have to look at that you know because i i don't think we even spend enough time talking about that yet and analyzing what it means yeah, yeah. um even for persons who are now rejoicing yeah, yeah, yeah. and then we have to talk also about this idea of decriminalization of yeah. ganja because i think all that is also we misspeak every time we talk about that because yeah, yeah. you talk about a few ounces you know yeah, yeah. ganja is not decriminalizing so what, what is being done the danger is that um, what will be done what is being done might remain at the level of being able to collect some taxes on it yes and being able to win some political mileage but still please in america by not legalizing it fully and so on even though one more thing i want to say smoke, when, smoke when, I, when, I, when i start smoke regularly at 17 years old automatically a pure pipe means to smoke for the first years. Mm-hmm. Automatically, I used to have to take off my glasses after my draw the pipe coming down. What happened? The, the ganja had corrected the dilation in my pupil. Oh, really? And my, my, I was able to see problems, so I had to take off the glasses. Mm-hmm. And later on, the scientists who studied this, it was that that led them to know that it could uh, yeah. enroll the eye. That's interesting. Uh, I went, I went and slowing my eyes. Yes, yes. We just have say. <laughs> I when I tell yeah. when I to tell people say when I was smoking ganja I see better. Them say boy I'm no Jeremiah, you know. So <laughs> well that is good news. Um for for us who who still live with glasses dark or otherwise. Yeah. Alright. I don't have as much experience as you and Rayner, so sometimes sometimes some things I do might be a little Jerry, bit clumsy. Please. So please, I'm, I'm Jerry. so glad I'm please, so glad that you, no, I'm so glad that um <laughs> that that you that, that you melt the eyes, huh? Which eyes? The ice cap on the North Pole and the South Pole. And he, yes. But anyways, I have a congratulator on IRFM 25 years. And um, I'm not trying to put down Prime Ministers, but um, I think that this program has done more than any of the political leadership. Thank you very much. Jerry, we ain't gonna talk about the ice. <laughs> Alright, thank you, Jerry. Thank you so much. Thank but you're not, you're, but you're here. You're not yes, leaving. Yes. You're mad. The lane this program. Okay, I'm brilliant. Lucky. Yeah, thank you so much. All right, Junior One Blood Reed is uh, still on stage uh, performing at this time, and the artists uh, left to perform uh, include Pinchers. We cannot, we cannot glad the Pinchers are performing, but well, one see me. <laughs> Half Pint, Turbulence, Movado. David Brooks. Yeah? David Brooks. David Brooks. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, David Brooks. Because oh, from oh, Rebel, because from Rebel, 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 Rebel uh, but so these are what at 656 you said my sister 656 it is now 657 a.m look here she get it working out she get the work did you hear that she's doing pretty well she threatening my job yeah, she's threatening <laughs> at 657 a.m we still have some really big names uh to come on stage uh my brother 
Juno Negos. How you do? Thank you so much, Marcus. How you do? Blessed Sister Kabo. Well, we want to say um, condolences to Mama Enid, the Naya Bingi matriarch of steel, to her family. And, you know, give thanks for the gathering here today. Herb Corner. A lot of things has been said, but I would just like to say, um, Brother Jerry Small spoke publicly on his radio that Mr. Golden has manipulated a legislation within the ganja movements and it's really manipulating the Rastafari community and he also said that there's a few races in the community who are riding piggyback with Mark Golden and some riding side saddle yeah uh, all right so that is um about a junior because they're quoting Jerry Small I don't know if Jerry heard that you know but Jerry, hey, uh, Junior, uh, you know, I don't want to refresh you because I don't know if it's slander or if it is true. But Junior, what you said, Jerry, um, talked about the a piece of legislation um, yeah, that you that said you heard Jerry sing. In the rest of our, uh, the legislation that Mark Golden has um, legislated is really so much for the benefit of the Rastafari community and that races should be careful of the side saddle and piggyback ride with Mark Golden. Yeah, is they piggybacking? Is they piggybacking and riding side saddle? Yes, and um, we're not condemning it, you know, but it's a, it's, it's a it's danger of a trick, robber by trick, and um, it's an electoral is an electoral ploy as well as a taxation ploy and uh, we must get the most we mustn't turn out of many in a pinnacle and pinnacle must return out of many is being lent and i'll give them a girasta they are lent they want to lend out of many to rasta and i'm so glad that kabu brought up in the grill the backroom dealings like joseph kennedy father of john kennedy the backroom dealings Meanwhile, the conference and the display going on. We don't want this courage bridging, but we don't want them ride side saddle. And we don't want nobody to put on no hump and on no saddle on them thing. But thank you very much. Thank you very much, Kabu. All right, thank you, uh, Jerry. Good thing he was by Jerry to, uh, to respond on that. The conductor used to make the... That's when the, the backpack them start coming from my picnic. I'm go to school now. And they're going to school from in the 70s, 80s. Anyway. But from in the 90s, this, this, this um, text I sent, the conductor used to always hear the, 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 the doctor call out, say, take off the bag off of your back. Because especially when they, they see them full into the bus and the passengers have to stand up. This big backpack from the back is a very inconvenient thing. And um, so on and so forth. I'm not vexed with nobody, but I have to talk about it. So when I come out of the bus, I bounce up in the people pregnant, like them pregnant and them back. You know, big back. I know a small backpack, you know. I talk about something external, one foot, you know. One foot behind them, you know. And, um, yeah, we're not, we're not vexed with nobody, but we have to talk. Next one. Jerry, big up yourself. Big tune, 100 ways. Just a tune in. Just a tune in. May I listen, forget my laugh when Wilson call. Oh, Wilson. You want to laugh? You wait till the Bellevue lady call. For me, you are tell a man that she want to be a, a Auntie Petrona. <laughs> How can I be, become an auntie petron I want financial expert charge you know? <laughs> <laughs> you say, How you can get to be an auntie petron There's nothing wrong in it, it's not our language, Mr. As you was discussing down a rebel, that's why I invited you, you know? As you uh, was discussing down a rebel, yes. it's not our language No And yet we master it oh, And then we use our language even nicer and then we soon come to I See it there To Maccabee Yes, good morning and welcome to Straight Up um, one more call. Good morning and welcome. Yeah, Bongo. Yes, sir. Respect, go Yes, sir. Yeah, man, governor. Yes, sir, governor. Yeah, man. A whole bad thing I have to say to you still, I have to just touch on this, man. Let me dig up, dig up your understanding. Yes, sir. Yeah, what I want to say this, man, definitely. Mm. But I like to see you here. All right, never be busy, I want to assist me, man. Yeah. When it is possible, so I like to leave my number when I don't talk. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one, yeah. when I want to really cherry, when I look on at my age now, mm. I see Jamaica run like a war zone, you know. Yeah. Let me explain it to you. If you check, check the, the, the system or statistics, right, we have been dental in my mouth, so the world is not going to come good. 
Den, I'm not dental, you have it. <laughs> that, that, that come like a whole clinic, you have it, not denture. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have it fast, then. That denture, man, denture, yeah. All right. Well, just bongo. If you check back from 1980, come down, you know, and Mr. War is doing. Yeah. So much things being happening here, so you can check weekly. How much crime yeah. happening in this country and solved by the police, men in authority, youth on the street go down. And what the government do these days, Jerry? Mm. You see, because uh, talk show can only go to a limit. Uh, you talk show people doing a fine job, but we not serious out there. The government knows so well look, when the people them talk over the system. Nothing not come out there too much because every day is just the same old talk. So when I say now, Jerry, me I set up an organization right now. When you want to meet the people who are Jamaican and not the people who are foreigners. Because the people them we are PMP and labor right, those people are alien to me and they are foreigners. So me I set up an organization now when I work for you now, when I decide to give my number. To reach to the people then who who decide to come out of the, 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 the slavery and the chain and the PNP and the labor right. Alright, let me make one more point here, listen to me, I'm listen. Yes, Jerry, when I look back, Jamaica sell out to a set of elite. Elite in this country, the men them call themselves pastor, police and politicians. Alright, we go further. Right now, if you aim, when we look up on certain systems. No, hold on, no, hold on. Yeah. I, I have to encourage you to make better use of the time. So, to, 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 to help you to make better use of the time, um, I think it is necessary for you to demonstrate to the public what kind of standards you are dealing with. I want you to name out three rules that you think should govern the relationship between people and three, 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 three rules and three clauses where you want to, to govern the, the action. Tell me, tell me three rules and clauses where you want to make. Well, yes, one Jerry Thompson, Jerry, the people, the, the people mu must refrain from going to the polling station, because these... All right, don't bother telling me the because, all right, next one. Yes. People must not vote, next one. Yes, and the second one is this, Jerry, that the people need to come out and demonstrate peacefully and let the, the country... No, 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 that's not a rule, that is not a rule, that's not a rule. Well... Definitely, Jerry. Maybe I, I can't clear every rule. No, name another next one. Name another one. Name another one. Name another one. All right, Jerry. What me I say? The, the country and yeah, the system is this way. No, yes, sir. No, you're going to describe. No, we don't know. We don't have not. Hello, hello. Hear me now. I'm so sorry. Listen, we don't have no time for you to describe the system now. Now, hear what I need you to do. I need you to think out your thoughts more clearly, and you have a list of rules that you would like other people to agree to. Yes. And then now people kind of get an idea of what kind of organization you want to set up. Otherwise, people going to hear some long talking and not going to know whether it's over yet in for coming there. Whether you want people to pay tax, whether you want people, everybody to get a visa. We want a list of rules that you would suggest. So think out the things I'm carefully, write them down, put a paper, and you call me back now. It takes less time to talk out the long talking here. Yeah? Well, thank you very much. Yes, sir. Governor, are you there? It's like you swallow them dent, anyway. Anyway, I have some good ideas, but it needs to be thought, you know, think, thought out that we can grasp what I must say. Morning, sir. Blessed love, Jerry. Oh, yeah, man. Introduce yourself again. Yeah, greeting. This is Maccabee, the African Jamaican born in the UK. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yeah, you were born before Jamaica independence, or? Oh, 61, my boss. 61, just before Jamaica independence. Yeah. But there were some very high hopes at that time. Yeah, there was, you know, but them never had to manifest, you know, but, yeah. you know. Not before the time, it's never too late, you know. Yeah, true. And uh, what, another thing I want to remind you of is that um, just about that time there, the the government party and the opposition party traveled to England just about the time a new born was traveling to England, trashing out now the same thing that we just asked the last caller. Yeah. What are going to be the rules that we going to agree on? Same. Uh, that is vital to know how the place is running. Yeah, yeah, man, of course. But the majority of the Jamaican people never have no talk in that. Tell me something, the, the reason, when, when, when your father is a reason about Jamaica, well, like when Mr. Teller, like you would come up and start farm a picture of Jamaica. What's the first age that you travel come here? 
first years my travel was in uh, 81. That time you are 20 or so? Yeah, I had 20 years okay. old. But yeah. you had an idea about Jamaica before? I have an idea because I have um, four sisters who was here and a yeah. couple of brothers. But they mostly used to tell me about country, you know, because country come from a real country, man, yeah. out of the hills of Hanover. You know? Hanover, oh yes. Which, which, which one are you living there? Oh, yeah, Maryland in country. Maryland, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. No, um, the first time I meet you, there was a symposium up, up in the university or sometime about 2009, 10 or them time. Eh? And uh, I think it was about uh, poetry. What was about? Poetry or something like that. What was it about? Yeah, and you came there. there. You sure? Yeah, man, you come there, man. And, and it's the first time I see you and you, yeah, made, well, a, you made a presentation. You sure? Is I? <laughs> you never come out symposium in the university? No, 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 no. Why, man? <laughs> No, far we look similar still, you know. You know, you know the university, yeah. Yeah, man, yeah, man. My, my, my uncle worked there. Yeah. Clinton Hutton. Oh yeah, yeah, man, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Clinton, yeah, man. Clinton yeah, man. and your uncle. Yeah, yeah man. Clinton, yeah, Clinton yeah, that man, man originated too. Yeah, man. My mother, brother, you know. Yeah, yeah. But but the topic that you were talking about, don't have rebel salute there and I. It, it really um, it really was the audience. It was a, it was a different flavor, not the usual singing, not the usual DJing. Yeah, yeah. But a, a, a good interaction with, with, the, with the people uh, about language, not true? Yeah, man, yeah, man. Because it's edutainment, we call it, you know. It's education and entertainment, same time, you know. So it's about the beauty of the Jamaican language. Cause yeah. Some people just call it patois, which means like broken English, but yeah. it's it not broken, you know. Because English, you could call it broken Latin. Broken yeah, Latin, Latin yeah. You see me, I say yeah, every language take inspiration from another, another language. One. Another la every language almost is, is a dialect of a previous language. Of a previous language. So Jamaican, you really for call it Jamaican represent the country, you know, German Germany they speak German. Yeah. You know? France they speak French, you know, it represent the country, you know. And the Jamaican language is such a beautiful language, you know, and all over the world. People love it, you know, the youth them, even mm. the youth them in England, even the white youth them. Yeah. They might pick up the Jamaican slang all the while as me mm. step on the thing, you know. Them don't say them going home. They might go at them yard. Mm -hmm. You know, that are the talk, you know, yeah. that are just normal talk and a war go on. A matter go of on. fact, the term yard, when, for the first 10 years when, when you hear the term yard, people automatically you know, say it's not somebody, not a Jamaican who go to America. No. Yard always refer to a, a somebody in England. Mm. Yeah, you hear somebody talk about yard, not true? Yeah, 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 yeah. At first, yeah, but it have different connotations now. Still, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, man, yeah, man. But as I said, the language, you know, it's universal. When you go to Japan, I doubt them want to hear, you know. Yeah. When, when me tell them say I come from England, they don't even want to hear that. Mm -hmm. I say, no, no, where you come from? Mm -hmm. So you have, to, you, have to, you have to say Jamaican. Mm -hmm. You know, else them don't really want to respond, you know. So yeah. we just love the language, you know, and at that we talk, you know. And um, the Jamaican. The Jamaican national, the, the person who have Jamaican nationality, which the vast majority of them is African, they, they have stood up for them rights and agitated for them rights a lot in England. And I think it set a, an example for other minorities. The Irish was there before, yeah. getting some hard time as white people, yeah, yeah. but getting some hard time. And um, after a while, I remember one time, the first time I, I go to Manchester, in England. I fly me fly from London to Manchester. Yeah. And at the airport, them take all Jamaican and all Irish out of the line and search them luggage. So them a terrorist threat. Yeah, and yeah. this is nineteen seventy seven you know. Yeah man, yeah man. A real thing I talk, yeah. And why I say that is because before the Jamaican agitated for rights in England, the Irish was a kind of underdog. Yeah, man. But after that, the Jamaican kind of set a pattern of how minorities assert themselves. Yeah, man. The Irish come to Jamaica too, you know. And mm, yeah, yeah. yeah. Amongst, uh, even some of the language, some yes, of it yes. is influenced by Irish. I, you know? I hear it a lot. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, hear it yeah. a lot. Irish and Welsh. Irish and Welsh. Uh, Captain Morgan, I think, was actually a Welshman. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A pirate. Yeah. Now, the, in England here you now, minorities like in America, minorities almost come like them. Is, together, the minorities come like a majority over the original white so-called anglo-saxon yeah yeah but it is more divisive now you know because you have a lot of people coming in like even within the white them open it up to the eastern europe so you have all the poorish and you have little wethian and all them oh. but them not really them segregate themselves oh. you know then just make them money and send it back because up them is not really english speakers no and english not really check for them that way there you know so them just keep themselves to themselves and, and as you say them get, make their money and send it back to their homeland send it back to their homeland and england is not as integrated as people think you know uh. the inner cities is 
But when you start move out in the country part, I just mm -hmm. like white people did there, you know. Yeah. And them not really mixed too much, you know. So it just the, the inner city were really integrated, you know. Yeah. Then now, you know, you know, a great a, a great development before the last few years, them and we 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 even more away, right? Quite a few well educated Jamaican and Caribbean people, quite a few intellectuals have now taken up the cause of reparation. Yeah. Yeah, man, like Dr. Hillary Beckers. Yeah, that's why yeah. I, 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 I hear talking about it. I know what I hear talking about. Because people like you influence him and talk about it. Yeah, because, you know, that's why I'm glad when David Cameron come and make the speech when speech, because a lot of the people who never really interested in reparation, them start talking about it. People who sit down on the fence yeah. and no business about it. Yeah. Them start talking about yeah. it and realize, you know, say, yeah. As something where it's due, due, yeah, for the slavery and, and legitimate, legitimate. Because camera wouldn't go to the Jews and say, No, you know, forget them, um, would no reparation, and then get reparation all the while, yeah. you know. Now, nah, man, he would have lost him, prime minister thing gone. You see me, I say, So, my brother, I retired, him couldn't do it. Introduce him for me, there. yeah, man. I a great photographer and radio personality, Steve James, you know, I'm a yeah. you know, yeah, man. And um, matter of fact, uh, you're still active in Algeria. Yes, I am. What, what is on the agenda this year for Jaria? Well, basically, you know, Reggae Month is around the corner, just, just around the corner. Mm. Uh, so far, we have confirmed the open universities which will be held up at... Uh, up at... Uh, UTEC, are we? Yeah, up at Edna Manley, Edna Manley. Sorry. okay, yeah, great. And then we have the awards function, the honor yeah. awards, which will be held same place at the Courtly. Okay. Yeah, man. I introduce the next version of it's a virgin of mine from New York. Uh, we call him Profile. Yeah. He's been parring with me and Maccabee, you know, for the past Bagua. couple of days. Yeah, hey man, passing through, man. Me and Steve have come from way back, you know? Yeah, yeah we have followed the English music a long, long, long yeah, time. Yeah, know, yeah. From back in the early 80s when we used yeah. to live in New York. And yeah, yeah. All of the English music used to come to New York. You yeah. know, Saxon, Maccabee, Tipper, yeah, Irie. Saxon coming like a... Saxon, um, matter of fact, the lovers rock. It develop and grow in England much more than in Jamaica. But that is what I play on my radio program. Yeah. It's strictly lovers rock and conscious music. Yeah man, so it's a big We don't forget thing. you know Maccabi, we're coming back to Beckles. Yeah man. Right. Right. Yeah, we well, are kept lovers rock. lovers rock in Jamaica yeah. Yeah, consistently. Man. And what your, what your channel name again? Ah, uh, Real Rock, Best FM. Okay, okay. Yeah man, Thursday 7 to 10. We're not going to make you overrun New Star. Nine. No, we're not going <laughs> to do that. We're not going to do that. We're never going to overrun my bridge with Mikey T. Nida and yeah, his yeah. family, you know? Yeah. Yeah man, we're going to get back to them topic there. But um, as, as I was hinting on you, pick it up right away. Probably out in their mind even before me. Hilary Beckles growing up in England. Same was influenced from the age of about 17 years old by the stand of the Rastafari. Mm. That's what they impressed more. More than religion was the stand of them. Because the, the religion is, is, is mostly for you to take, is mostly to coach you, you know. Religion is not to preach to other people so much, but it's mostly to coach you in you know, your conduct. Mm -hmm. And they know your conduct is what influences other people. I, I believe that your conduct influences people more than what you say. Yes, sir. Liberty. And, yeah. and, and here at Hillary Beckles, I'm um, reiterate that is as a 17 year old in England, that's what strike him. Is it behavior the Rastafari version in England as representing minority and as representing African? Yeah, man, yeah, man. We're militants, you know, we have a militancy from the longest time. And even last year, we have um, a reparation march and thousands mm -hmm. of people. And Rastafari was at the head of the march, you know, and you take some paper down and down in the street and everything. And it was Our version always call the program about the same reparation march and thing. I can't try and remember him name, but you must know him too. Yeah. Could a man dingo still? Uh? Yes. <laughs> yeah, man dingo. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. Who could have guessed that? A man dingo, man. Him, they are the forefront of certain things. And as you know, he's very militant, you know? Yeah. Very African, Afrocentric, as they call it, you know, Pan-African, you know? Yeah. Just give us an idea of the discussion where you conduct at Rebel Salute Pan stage. Yeah? Well, yeah, well, it's a different topic still, you know? Yeah, we touch the, the medical marijuana thing, you know? Because it's a real thing. When we go to America and we find out, so they really have a card. And you can get medical marijuana, you know, and that's before Jamaica take it up, you know. So we do that tune a couple of years ago, and I employ Jamaica for kind of take it up, you know. Cause mm. they see you play the tune, um, police in helicopter. Mm. Cause that's why the American born out there, because they know that so Jamaica was the best. So yeah. you want to get the competition out of the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see me, I and them start growing the most, you know. Well, you see the MC, we kind of wake up the crowd now, man, on a rebel salute. Yeah. 
um, the youth, the man, well known man. Rod Machette? No man. Stepper. Stepper from the university. Yeah. When the, when Obama came here, you know, the main event of him whole one day trip was him visit to the university here. Yeah. Where my have a forum with the young people, youth forum. Yeah. And one of the most um the highlights of the whole discussion was when Step Out of the audience proposed yeah. to him, say proposing about the marijuana must be allowed to help the people rec recover them economic independence and so on. So that alone can solve. And Obama said to him, say it's not a silver bullet, in other words, it's not something that's going to just work magic. Yeah. Because don't believe that the big companies and the rich people in the world are going to allow you to go take control of no in industry where it's a multi billion industry. So Obama himself, I want to say, a big man going to go organize till them control. Everything. Yeah, man, yeah, man, the pharmaceutical going yeah, to try yeah. to take it over. I mean, but, no, but you must be daunted by that still, you know? No, no, you have to give thanks, uh, you know? And them just hope that the the man on the ground, the farmer them, you know, them can really make the money and make it benefit Jamaica, you know. Well, it is my position that not only the, the African people in Jamaica, every one of them is owed land. Every, every African in Jamaica is owned land. Yeah. Owed. Because every human being in the world have a right to a living space. Yes. Every human being. Yeah, yeah. Not even white people. Most white people don't even know that, you know. Even yeah. the white people in a white country don't know, so they have a right to a piece of land, you know. Yeah, you're right. Because that was deliberately left out of the human rights charter, you know. Uh -huh. One of the most important human rights, it was agreed with by the big men, so we're not going to put that in there. Yeah. That every human being have a right to a piece of land. So not even white people, most of them don't know that. But it's a fact. Worse when we have been removed from our land yeah, yeah. and brought here. So not only we have a claim for Africa, and the Africans over there must know that. Not the whole Africa, you know. And when I come back, they have rule over no African. Because mm -hmm. enough, enough people, you know, even Rastafari, Bridge and Sister, feel like say, we we higher than the other people and we go and go back to Africa. We are still a silver rule people. No, man, we, don't feel, feel, we don't feel that. We don't feel we're higher than them. No, some, yes. some of our brethren feel them with them. No, man, that's why we love them, man. That's why they love I and I, because we don't feel that we're there. We yeah. are the same as them, man. Yeah. We, come, we don't come for rule, nobody. So now the rule. African over there know, some must know, Mm -hmm. That we have a right to a living space in Africa, yeah, but yeah. not to come rule them. Yeah, yeah. And also we have our, we have bought, we have paid for Jamaica lock, stock, and barrel. Yeah, man. The entire land space of Jamaica, we pay for that with sweat of blood and with tears. Blood, sweat, and tears. And if that is true of Jamaica, it is also true of England. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I, I, because the riches of England and most of Europe build up half of the five hundred years. Half of slavery. Yeah. Five hundred years. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Definitely, definitely. So you're right. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. It's like. England are with too, you know. We have a right, you know. And you say, we go to a certain place in England, uh, the slave trade make them really big, yeah. Liverpool, Liverpool Cardiff and all them yeah. places, you know. So it's a, it's a terrible thing, you know. And as you say, we do, we do, you know. So we just have to work together. And, you know, there's some high, there's some high liars, you know, who are working on it, you know. Because you have to do it legally as well, you know. You, yeah. you can march and march and march, but you have to do it legally too. Yeah, yeah. And there's some high profile liars who are working on it, you know, legally too. Yeah. Yes, me are you. Yeah, man, a year Farquhar made a statement that all the while said the black Americans have a right. The same argument. They yeah. have the same right for, you know, yeah, land and everything yeah. after 500 years. Yeah, yeah, man. yeah man, the same o argument. Overdue. Overdue. Oh, you mean, man? Because yeah, yeah. them get paid compensation, you know. Yeah. The slave, yeah. one of them yeah. get paid compensation. That's why I like when other people get get them rights, you know. Because when, when other people get the right, it's assured that you must get your own. Though. Must yeah. get your right. When we say the Eskimo in, a, in, a, in a Canada, the other day the Prime Minister of Canada break down in tears. You know? A young Trudeau, him, him grew up as a little picnic. His father was a Prime Minister one time, so his father two times and make him know a certain thing must be done. And one of the first things he said when he come in, when he win Prime Ministership with the I met the Canadian people, especially the other politicians, know that we must pay back the Eskimo and the original Canadian people. Because mm. we take with the whole of them land. Mm. We must do it. And when some of them are giving trouble, so I see him politicians are getting trouble like them are resisting him. Get emotional now, because it's like him rot enough to know them of your legs to them and them damn well know. Yeah, 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 yeah. get rot and I'll break down and I'll like a weakling tears now. Yeah, man. Because enough time when tears come away, I rot or rot and I truly can't get to cut some throat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Make some time a cry now. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know when you want to cut no throat. Yeah. yeah. But sometimes it has to be done. Yeah. yeah. Self-defense. Self-defense. It's no affair. Because, for instance, pride that last name. People are thief your crap. You're, you're there a farm all the time. A man come thief your goat. Thief your fowl. Thief your crap and go and sell and boast half for you. Pride that last me for dead. <laughs> for hungry. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, for dead, for hungry. For hungry. Yeah. Man, you work so hard upon yeah. your farm. Yeah. You know, you take care of your, your yeah. cow, yeah. your goat, yeah. you take care of your yeah. vegetable and your plant. Yeah. 
And the next man, he just wake up and everything gone. Yeah, they're for dead. Yeah, hungry. man, I don't mean, agree with that. You know, they're for, they're for dead, for hungry. Mm, and if they're not dead, for hungry, they wouldn't come back. Yeah, true. And people in the community, yeah, people in the community will link with them, you know. Mm. And, and, and these things, you know, must be put to a stop. Yeah, yeah. As temptation, all somebody in the community now link with the outside of the things. A temptation, them fault, you know. True, true. Mm -hmm. We don't want to think badly our neighbor. We don't want to watch what we want. Uh. But we have to live in a way that make it um, is risky. It must be risky for people to stay in a community and betray you. I must know the consequences. Yes, man. It, consequences yeah. follow. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. And um, we don't want to put forth way into no iniquity. True, true. Mm -hmm. But but but, but um, you know, man, there's so much to be done. Our children. Look for like a ten year old boy. Like a ten year old boy on a Portland cottage. I hear about that one. A few days ago I must have broke somebody's yeah. window pane. You know you know you you to throw a stone on no, and you broke the window pane. Yeah, yeah. And a few days later I missing. And yesterday them find him dead. With one of them hand cut off. What a thing man. In left hand. And the mother said left hand used to throw a stone. What a thing man. When I heard I made a comment that it can be all witchcraft, because a lot of people believe in a witchcraft, you know. <laughs> People believe in a witchcraft, you know. So if mm -hmm. them killer, people believe in a witchcraft to the extent that some man have all venereal disease, gonorrhea, syphilis, and here say if him have sex with a virgin, yeah, virgin. it's a cure. Yeah, no, that one is. So to him, no know who and who a virgin, and make sure go for like a two-year-old baby girl or like yeah. a ten-year-old girl and force them to have sex. Yeah. And then now through them, I got taught now, and just make two, direct through and just, just kill her and done because she got to tell people. Mm -hmm. Same a cure of venereal disease. So yeah, yeah. That, them, they are witchcraft, you know. Mm -hmm. In belief, say, Imagine you believe, say, if you penetrate a virgin that will take with disease. That's a witchcraft. Yeah, man. You believe again, say, if you eat somebody genital, you're going to get strong. That's how cannibal used to, when most cannibal, when them kill the, the enemy, you know, then cut off them genital and them, them balls and them penis and, eat, and cook it and eat it. You know. mm -hmm. And some people eat them hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. A, a, some a, a black magic and white magic. And our black people alone do them things, you know. White people are different kind of people. Yeah, man, yeah, man. So this kind of witchcraft here you now will lead people either to kill a little ten year old boy. Mm. Or bad mindedness will lead them to kill him, say. His parents never appear the window by the by the end of the day. Mm. Ten year old youth. Murdered and hand cut off. Wickedness that. Yeah, man. Wickedness. Total wickedness. Total. Welcome back to Straight Up. We have Maccabi our guest in the Studio today perform on um, Rebel Salute the other night. And we have a couple of text messages. And anyone who want, want to call in and interact, you may do so. May do so in the next nine minutes before the news and maybe for a few minutes after the news. But two text messages. First one. Maka be a big artist. Tell him me enjoy him performance of Rebel Salute. Real entertainment. Next one. Ask Maka if you give a piece of respect to you. You have a piece name respect you? I, I don't know which one it matter. Oh, right. They have something in their mind. But, yeah, yeah. but give, a, give us a, like a few seconds or some acapella or something. No? Whatever you feel for. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, I have so much, you know. All right, all right. The other day I was in California. Hey, me and my brethren are driving on the highway when some police come over and say, pull over up on the hard shoulder. The officer said to my brethren, you have any marijuana in the car? My brethren said, yes, officer, I do. I have an ounce or two. Then he showed the officer a card, and the officer said, okay, be on your way, and have a good day. I said to my brethren, what kind of card that you are a diplomat? He said, no, Maccabee is my medical marijuana card for my asthma. You see, as soon as I go back to England, I go straight to my doctor. I said, doctor, give me the card like the doctor, they my broad. I said, I want a medical marijuana card. All the medicine will hold in a high regard. I said, I want a medical marijuana card. I said, it's good for the asthma. Multiple sclerosis and it's good for the cancer. It's good for migraine and it's good for glaucoma. A good pain reliever for the stress in my loma. Well, anyway, I said, I go to the doctor. I tell him about the medical marijuana. I tell him about the card in California. They have it in America. How come it not on ya? Well, anyway, doc, you see me, I get older. And me find me have a little pain in my shoulder. It helps me massage it and go to the sauna. Another pain reliever is the marijuana. You know, say, I don't lie, doc, you know me, I no faker. Just give me the card, doctor, give me the paper. Only this morning, me get this headache, yeah. I need some medicine from Jamaica. Just give me the card like the doctor, they my broad. Me say, me want a medical marijuana card. How the medicine will hold in a high regard. Me say, me want a medical marijuana. 
want a card, me tell him about my affliction. Then him get the pen and him a write the prescription. Don't give me no pill, doctor, that is addiction. Me really want the herb, but me no want the conviction. The doctor tell me, say, him know the herb and the cure, man. We have some in the chemist, but don't tell no one. Don't feel no way, doc, I don't want your one. Me have my one I come from Westmoreland, just. Give me the card. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, thank you very much. Now, there's a piece of a music there. What's your number two name again? And yeah, Big Thief, you know? Big Thief. That's yeah. the one you want to play? Yeah, man. Right, yeah, later, man. We, later we play it. But um, do we have a phone call yet? We don't have a phone call yet. Now, which part of England you really grow? I grow in a place called Wolverhampton. Wolverhampton. Yeah, it's near to Birmingham. If you come to England, then you know yeah. the area still. It's in the Midlands, you know? And Midlands, yeah. That part of Wolverhampton, everybody there from Hanover, you know? Then just oh, yeah. converge in Odessa, yeah. Yes. So now, um, you have children in England? Yeah, man, I have five children in England. Yeah, yeah any of them ever have music in Jamaica? Yeah, man, all of them. Yeah, yeah man, all of them come out, yeah, man. Because most of my family are out there, you know. Yeah. When my parents left from Jamaica, they came with the intention yeah. of going to England, making money or whatever, yeah. and then forward to Jamaica. But, you know, sometimes it doesn't work out how it's intended, yeah. you know, and yeah, yeah. pressure and all them things they reach them, so they pass. They never even make it back to Jamaica, you know, yeah. so. I have my whole family out there, my sister, them years old and fine and all of them. And so what's your family issues. name? What's your family surname in English? McFarlane. McFarlane. Yeah. So when, when you meet Clinton, or Jamaica or England? How, Clinton or No, a Jamaica, a Jamaica still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He never come to England still. Yeah. yeah. Alright, um, you have a thing named uh, Hanover Homecoming. You ever hear about it? People from all around the world. Is that England lady they organize this, you know? Yeah, no, I mean I hear about that one. They're in a loose every year. Yeah, that would have nice. Oh, very nice, very nice. We yeah. have a caller there. Good morning. Welcome yes, to Yes, Jerry. Yes, sir, welcome. Uh, go on. More coffee. Blessed love, yeah. Brap, brap, brap. Yeah. We love it, we love it. Uh, give thanks, give thanks. Jerry. Yes, sir. I jumped down there before so you know that come. You yeah. see, when the silver bullet thing there? Eh? Yeah. You don't know if an irony or if an intentional thing foreshadowing or what. But remember, silver bullet, even though, just like you said, it's a cure-all, right? Yeah, it is. It's a cure-all. Yeah. But at the same time, the Peter Tusk call them kind of people, the politicians and the rich man, they want to say, vampire and blood sucker, and also. Yeah. And the repertoire, you know, the, 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 the vampire slayer, you got your garlic for wheat, and then, then you put a wooden stick in them heart. Yes. Ah, you can use the one thing where you can do a silver bullet. Yes. So my name is tell me, I'm going to tell me the truth. I say, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I can't talk the big man them see me, and a silver bullet will kill me. Yeah. All right, well, th them. thank you very much yeah. for the interpretation. Yes, sir. Uh, I, um, I, but one thing more, I'm going to give you more. What? Eh, hey, they, 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 remember this, with the, with the security, they must have to go farm. Yeah. Farm and one thing. Yeah. Remember the, 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 EFS, you know, yeah. the, the animal farm syndrome. Yeah. You know, see, remember that book, the animal farm, but then we go farm and go back and do the same no, thing. No, 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 listen, you know. We know that that is possible, that's why we talk before the time, say. A lot of people start out as underdog and then when they make it, now them start going like top dog and we, 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 we are. Uh, that's why we, you know, we, we look ahead and we, that's why we demand that people must have suggestions about what. What agreements they want to, to rule our conduct, you know? But thank you very much, yes, sir. Uh, we'll right, play, man. We'll play a little piece of, um, introduce the one for me, the one we want to play. Yeah, man. That one here said, boy, the Babylon society always talk about teeth, and them always look for the little man, you know, the little man, and sometimes are hungry and all them things, they kind of guide them and them something. But you have the bigger teeth, you know, and people now watch the bigger teeth. Some of the royalty of England are teeth, them teeth make them stay where them there, and the politicians them are England. A teeth, them are teeth. Yeah. The people them are rob and rape the people them. So that one your name, Big Teeth. Yes, sir. If receiving stolen goods is an offense, how come none of the queens of England have never served any sentence? If money laundering's a crime, how come none of the folks have never done any time, time or some? Big thief and gangsta, a jar them a rat unto jar them we answer you. Big thief and gangsta, go deal with them jar. Babylon or some, big thief and gangsta. A jar them a rat unto jar them we answer you. Big thief and gangsta, go deal with them jar. from Africa, give out the things, walk back with things, give out the things that 
what you take from Africa Give out the things, one by the Them are the biggest shop lift That the biggest truck traffic Or the biggest burglar Them are the biggest money launderer Or the biggest arm robber And the biggest arm smuggler Or the biggest scammer Biggest smuggler, biggest embezzler Man a burglar house Babylon A burglar continent Man a big pocket Babylon A big government Look how them a bad up And a rob the environment Them judgment of a permanent Awesome Big thief and gangsta Unto jar them a rat Unto jar them we answer yow. Big thief and gangsta But he with them jar Yeah we have a minute to go before the 11 a.m. headline news I was going to ask Maccabee the mu- you, 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 you get some ready made tracks Or you have musicians we work with it, the both of them, we get married me a track sometime and sometimes yeah. we work with musicians because we travel all over the world, you know, and yeah. we, we take with musicians with you, you know. Yeah. So the first ever come from Rebel Salute though? No, the second time, in the day in the year 2000 still. Oh yeah? Yeah, man. So long? Yeah, 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 so long still. That's great. That means, eh, uh, that means it did go down, um, down a Port Kaiser. Yeah, it was down at Port Kaiser, yeah. Port Kaiser, It was down there and it did cool that time. Yeah, man, yeah. cool. <laughs> well, I tell you about cool. Yeah. Really? So, uh, so you yeah, leave, you yeah, leave out for yeah, no, more traveling soon. Yeah, man, yeah, man, tomorrow still, cause we have some show Italy and Mexico and all them places, yeah. you know. So, yeah, man, we give thanks for the energy still. You know? Yeah, well, thank you very much for having been here. Yeah, man, give thanks and to keep yourself, in man. Touch and through Mister James and thing, you keep in touch today. Yeah, and, and keep up your positivity still. Yeah, thank you very much, yes, sir. Yeah. Profile, profile. Yeah, man, profile. New York, no? Yeah, man, yeah, man. Well, all the best. Yeah. Ah, we have a little. Have a little mishap there. Maybe we'll get to play some more right later for Courtney from Maryland. His birthday today. Also, my brother's birthday, Richard Small. All the best for the day. And let us get back to the telephone. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Hello, Jerry. Yes, sir. Welcome. How are you doing? Maccabi, show out already. Yeah, man. Uh, and the blessing most anyway. Yeah. I hear uh, a, a report in the Observer, today's Observer. Yeah. By Balford Henry. Yeah. Uh, announcing some increased rates in the minimum wage. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if you could get um, check it out uh, and find out where really are. Where really are. Uh, uh, the person tell me that is eight percent. They increase the minimum wage by eight percent. Well, thirteen percent. Yeah. Oh, what thirteen? Thirteen percent yeah. for the minimum wage earners and the security guards. Eight uh, percent. That's only like about six hundred dollar. Yeah, some change into into where really are going right here now. Yeah. Uh, the common denominator. Sound like about seven hundred dollar. The common denominator right now, which yeah. is the US dollar, is at one twenty going to one twenty one. Yeah. So, you know, you can because the the, 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 the economy is dollarized. Yeah. Them dollarize the economy, you know. Yeah, yeah. So the, the the common denominator, which is the US dollar, yeah. is out of hand. So yeah. you know, basic goods and services way out of hand also. Yeah, inflation. Yeah. yeah, you know. But them are both for inflation. So them carry on inflation to its lowest rate. Yeah. For this year. Yeah. They're not talking about the, the the high inflation what we have sustained for the last twenty odd years. No. Which is averaging about thirteen percent for each year. They're not talking about that. No. But check out the article there. All right, do it, ta- ta- and see what I go on with it. There. Thank you very much for that um heads up there. Thank you very much. Yes. Sir? Have another. Some text messages here. Uh, yeah. Big up Mr. Small coming from Fabian and the Greenwich Town community. Yeah, Fabian. I always see the name spelled with two B and sometimes I see it with fa- one B. So I don't know whether it's Fabian or Fabian, but it seems like it's Fabian. Alright, and we soon, um, we soon get a time for review your music. Well, thank you very much. In the meantime, with us. Welcome back to Straight Up. Good morning. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome. Morning. Yeah. Me, uh, um, me here, me I listen to the security guard uh, argument about raising you know, the minimum wage and them things. Uh, you, you look here, let me tell you something, you know. It's not the, 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 it's not the pay where the people are getting the problem today, you know. Because remember, say, it's gas price and them things, the white bread. 
everything we sell na the na the na the bakery place everything we sell na the na the grocery shop everything thing we sell na the supermarket raised because of gas price over the years but right yeah now gas gone down back to zero we're not talking to the supermarket people we're not talking hold on a minute hold on a minute we're not hold talking on. to nobody hold, hold on a minute no price, but we're talking about hold on a minute eh? gas gone back down to zero no, hold on, 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 remember now, we have to correct what we said, because people just heard us say gas gone back down to zero. Well, Mr. My mistake, Mr. Zero, but I mean... Yeah, no, 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 hold on, no, 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 listen, listen, it's very important to straighten out things. Yeah. Gas don't gone back down to zero. It gone back down to a lower price than what it has been for some time. Yeah. But it is far from zero, and it's not cutting a half or not cutting a three quarter. It's gone down about ten or twenty dollar. But anyway, uh, go and talk. I know, I know you mean. Me, me not know if you me right, wrong or me right, but me still believe that more than the twenty dollars gone off. I guess right, and because we got we got to have hundred dollars a barrel. The the, the, the food go up to hundred dollars a barrel. It come down to thirty dollars and out. So how how me not understand what go on in this country. If it's raised where we where we raised where we raise, 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 now over the years I buy that two gas then. Right? And now gas gone down this this them people just Hold on, hold on a minute, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Some of the importers and some of the distributors and some of the business people them buy up some stock of things a few weeks ago or a few days ago. Some of them buy it up a few months ago. Yeah. And then probably pay a hundred dollars for each box of cornflakes. Some months ago. And maybe them sell it, maybe them market it up a hundred percent or fifty percent. So it well, we make I finish talking. You have to make I finish talking. You have to make I finish talking now. Because I don't make my point yet. Yeah. So if the people don't buy some things a few days ago or a few weeks ago or a few months ago for a hundred dollar box. I'm putting on 50% on it, 100%, which is too much anyway. But if the gas price go down by a hundred, by a ten dollar, twenty dollar, thirty dollar, do you expect so the people going to cut them conflicts in a half price when them buy it a few weeks ago for a hundred dollar? Jerry. No, I'm not about here. Jerry. I don't want you about Jerry now. Look here. No, 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 listen, I don't look want here. look here, look here, just plain. Plain. No, well, I ask you a simple question. Here. If you're not Jamaica, no, you're listen, I don't want about Jamaica. Listen here now. I don't want to waste no time now. Listen. Yeah, is the country. I don't hear yeah, hold on. Ask your question. It's only the question I'm dealing with now. I say after people buy some boxes of conflicts three weeks ago or two days ago or three months ago for a hundred dollars. If you sell it for one fifty. And the gas price go down by even ten or twenty or thirty dollars. You think they're going to cut the conflicts in half? Them supposed to cut so cut or take out something. Look at well and there. So the hundred well and the hundred if them don't take out. Well and there, hear me now, hear me now. You are not paying attention to the question I'm asking you because you're avoiding correcting the situation. And it's reality we are dealing with. If we don't deal with reality, we're going to turn fool enough. Alright. If some people no, you will and there, you will and it. If some people buy some box of conflicts for three two, three days ago or three weeks ago, or three months ago for a hundred dollar. And the gas price even go down by forty dollar. You know that them going have to recover them hundred dollar where them pay for the conflict. Do you know that? I, I understand. All right, good, good. Yeah, but listen, I'm going to put you one more point. I put you this point a couple years, a couple months ago, and I, I don't hear. May I have something? I ask you this question again. We, we used to buy gas by the girl in Jamaica, right? And the pump. We only have 30 seconds left. All right, but with, 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 with the measurement change from gallon to liter, Terry. Did the measurement, did the price change from gallon to change to the match with the gallon, with the liter where we are buying now? Did the man change the price from gallon to liter price? Now the same price, so we don't pay for the no, gallon. No, no, no. pay for the liter. No, foolishness, foolishness. Yes, yes. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. This gas thing, yeah? Hello, 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 hello. He's one of the... You're not listening to me. All right, next call. You're not listening to me, you're not listening to me. If you're not listening to me, you're not listening to me. It was not so, and I'm not going to turn a fool here until I say it is so. I'm not going to talk no damn foolishness. I feel the pinch like you, Sammy, but I'm not going to talk no damn foolishness. Why should I talk damn foolishness to me and your friend? Next call. Good morning. Yeah, yeah. Welcome, sir. My son? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. I think the last year, the last of all. Blessed morning, I am. Welcome, welcome. Give thanks some, some praise, man. Welcome. Well, the reason it was a little bit conscious, you know? Yes, because um, if you 
buy gas for a $120 a litre last week. And you decide to make a trip this week here. Yeah, some people ask for carry them going to Negril and you give them a price, right? Yes. And you tell them say you will carry them for $15,000. Mm -hmm. And after that, the gas price drop by $10 or $20. When you stock up already? When you already stock up already? Yes. Are you going to make the people them bully you and tell you say you have to take off? No, sir. Why are you not going to do it? Because me already spent so much on budget on it that me have to make back that profit. And did and did yes. me drop my price before yes. and did they not agree me out. Yes, and did they not agree with you that you they, you, you will take them for that money? Yes, of course. Yeah. Yes. No, yeah. No. I've seen it with the gas you know. Yeah. You know, on a Wednesday night they will announce what such a jump price is. And you know, so the man which is it, so which is should either go up or down. You know, so yeah. one time it go down. Yeah. The, the, the pump, they, they don't put it down at the gas station until it's in the evening, you know? No, no, no. And it's when it rears? Yeah. In a it rears right away. Yeah, but the, but the reality so is this. Yeah. Yeah. The reality is this, that when you're doing business on an ongoing basis, you deal with replacement cost. Right. right? I come first. And if you bought the goods for a certain amount of money, you're going to have to go get back the money where you pay for it and then oh. in the future now if you're going to buy it for a certain amount you're going to have to go put down that amount for restock it thing you yeah. will you will be able to take off of something you know and put on something but you're not going to be able to correct all the situation in one week not at all i don't think so not at all yeah but you are now as you play the song this morning from jack your them are pressure we hard, hard yeah. them are pressure we. Yeah. I really think that that really stole the moment, you know, Mr. Small. Yeah. Because we are under hard pressure out here, may I tell you. And we understand our world economy set and government set. It set that the bigger man has to pray for a set of people, you know? Yeah. And which, I saw it go, and we understand. But, but what I don't like with the system is when they widen the gap so much, Mr. Spock. Yeah, ever, the yes. The gap is very wide now. Ever widening, ever widening. We're not going to put up with it. And it go, the thing. Yes, and the government, the politicians, they said, a trickster. And we're not yeah, going to be trick, but They're going to trick some of the people and can't trick all of it. Yeah, and do it all the time, Mr. Small. And they're not going to yes. stop, they're not going to stop till some of them go to prison. But that, that's coming up. And that's coming up in the car, we have to react, you know. Yeah. Then you have to react. So that's why the critical mass of people is out here, you know, we start them can swing for them away, you know. Yes. Because they are under pressure so much and the gap is wide so much that you leave us no choice but to rebel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what rebellion can cause. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, so we just ask the government to narrow the gap a bit and to take it in. There's a wide gap between the first and second class. And a miles a gap between the second and third class. Yes, and from the politician going to politics, them immediately they move up in a class. Right up them gone, man. Move a up class, in a class. Going yeah. far enough. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, everybody wants to be in the upper class, man. Yeah. And can't reason with overseas bishop and yes, yes. man and all of them. And you know? negotiate, negotiate. Yeah, man. And uh, they say they are negotiating on our behalf, but it's not our behalf they are negotiating yeah, on, yeah. Mr. Small. They are negotiating on their behalf. Yeah. That's and why they must extend them funds when yeah. you see them join politics. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, and that is really a thing, Mr. Small. But as the people, the critical mass of people is out here thinking, yeah. we have to just put ourselves together and stand up for what we want, yes, sir. Yeah, man. And, yeah. I'll make yeah, sure. Man, we have to come together. Yeah, I'll make sure say you prosper here, sir. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. We have to stand firm with my economic yeah, self, yes. sir. Yes, sir. Next one. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Next one, please. Not there. Good morning. Yes, good morning. Welcome, welcome. Yes, sir. I was speaking to you just before the 10 o'clock news. Please. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, man. Um, as I said before, I'd apply for the funeral grant at the oh, yes. Social Security Office. Um, in November, when I checked back, they said some photocopier had broken down. Oh, yeah. So they could not copy the document. And um, it would be done in short order. Yeah. I checked back last week. The machine was, the photocopier was still down, as far as they told me. Yeah. I asked them if they could send one of their bearers to one of the 
please the Rona and I would pay to have it photocopied. They said, no, it cannot be done that way. When will the machine be fixed? Uh, we don't know. We are working on it. And I am just wondering, the, 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 the poor, hapless people who would depend on that grant, how will they, would they manage in September? A photocopier has broken down and it has not yet been fixed. Effort to get the office in Kingston, that phone rings without an answer. But days upon days upon days, I've never been able to speak to anybody. Which, what, is, what is the name of that office? The Ministry of Social Security. Yeah, and you know where the address is? Yeah, man. Where? Um, the, the, the head office is that he was served in Kingston. Yeah. You have anybody can go there? Um, no, I don't have anybody. You don't, you don't, have, you don't know about living in Kingston? Yeah, yeah, man. Then why don't you ask one of them for go there? Uh, well, it's a matter of time, but why can't um, anybody answer food for you? I have been calling the numbers for... Hello, hello, hello. Yes. Hello. Yeah. You hear me? Do you appreciate that after your call numbers and you're not get through, you must go on the spot? You appreciate that? Well, I do appreciate it. Then why is continue calling the numbers that you can have a bigger complaint? Bigger complaint not going on. You have to go there. Calling numbers that, that that is not answering. What is the sense of continue calling? I believe you should get somebody to go there now. Well, I, I agree with you. It's really disgraceful, but but you have to approach it like like what it is. It's so disgraceful that you have to go there and get somebody to go there. Who is your MP? Uh, I think it is um, Sharon Fox Abraham. And you don't go to her? I don't know where to find the MP, but... <laughs> no, hear me now. Listen here. Listen here. Um, you don't think you should find out how to find your MP down in Mobile? <laughs> well, you're, you're, quite, you're, quite, you're quite right. Yeah, you say less special like how now is electoral pe period. You must be able to find her within a week. And put her to work. Okay. Put so her to work. Them don't come for rule, you know. Them come for serve you. Mm. Uh, okay. I right. suggest that you find she and find your counselor. And put them to work. Because them, them, are, them are collect a whole of thing um, for nothing. Okay, okay, my brother. Thank you very much, yes, sir. Okay. Good morning, welcome to Straight Up, hello. Hello, morning, Mr. Small. Welcome, sir, welcome. Mr. Small, I was, I was listening to a rebroadcast re, re last night. I heard you asking a man what is calculus. Yes, I would love you to explain that. All right, let me just explain it briefly. It's a branch of mathematics. Yeah. That is used to calculate the rate of return, uh, uh, the, ch um, the, the, the rate of change. Or how things change, you know? Yes. They use it in um, insurance companies to calculate things like pension. Oh, so the actuary they have to use calculus. Yeah, to calculate pension. And they use it in physics, quantum physics. Yeah. Yeah, I use it I use it every day in my accounting profession to calculate um, probabilities and trends. Oh. But human beings use calculus every day, you know, unconsciously. Unconsciously, yeah. Yeah, because we were born, you need to solve problems. Oh, so you, so you have an automatic um, estimation and capability in your brain can estimate things. Yeah, make good decisions. Because it's all about decision making. Yeah. For example, if I, I know that if I have a hundred thousand, I must not carry it into the savings account in a commercial bank and let it sit down there gathering three percent interest. Yeah, shedding it gathering one thing and shedding another thing. Yeah, because the inflation rate is above the 3%. Interest, interest rate that they're paying me. So you're really shedding value? Yeah, so that's dead money. Yeah. I prefer carry it to somewhere else like coronation market and buy into a stall down there and turn it over. Yeah, yeah. Calculus help you with those simple decision making because you're looking at the, the the best return for your investment. Yeah. Like when you say you don't, some of these reggae shows you don't go into them until daylight. Yeah, yeah. And you're running taxi all over the city transporting people. Yeah. So you use the opportunity to maximize your revenue and your time. Yes, yes. Calculus help you to calculate opportunity costs. Calculated risk. Yeah, and it, it's not very difficult, you know, it's only meticulous. Oh, yes. Like when a, a teacher said to you, A plus B equals 6. Yeah. And you said, oh, the teacher said 4 plus 2 equals 6, and now she said A plus B equals 6. Yeah. All oh, this letter coming. Yeah, yeah. 
But if you must not find what is your A and what is your B. What is the value? Yeah, sometimes your wife is your A and you is your B and it equals to seven to. Oh, oh, oh. You can equal to zero to if you link up with the wrong person. Right, yes, yes, yes. Uh, so the calculus helps you in those daily calculations, you know? Yes, sir. But Another that, thing, Mr. Small, I want you to help me with this one now as a spiritual man. Yeah. Why is it from Genesis? Yeah. Our children is under constant attack from the so-called system of things. Children being hunted down and killed. Jesus being hunted down till them kill him. Now we hear that a surge of mosquitoes are coming over that is going to attack the fetus. Yes, yes. What it is about the system? Well, uh, as you know, the weakest fence and uh, the most vulnerable is what, what the predator go for. Most vulnerable. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Respect and honor, Mr. Smart. And thank you very much for the definition and the clarification. Two text messages. Jerry Morning, can you play Day the Dollar Died by Peter Tosh? Yeah, possibly. I don't, I don't know if it's today. Next one. Jerry, I hear people talking about the drop in gas price on goods and services, but they, they fail to note that this US dollar rate in Jamaica is at an all time high. You're so right about replacement costs. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. Let's get back to the phone, please. Good morning. Welcome to Street. Judge Men. Yes, sir. You just don't talk to the good of it. No figures. Yes, yes. All right. Let me ask you this. Yeah. If you're in a business, yeah. like a bar, yeah. and you have credit as a come come credit your goods. Yeah. And credit five beer. Yes. At the time I went to my credit, it value twenty dollar. Yeah. I'm going to pay Friday. Yeah. But when the beer raised, yes. I'm come to pay. What you charge it? Well, the rate, the rate at what I buy or the rate at what I pay. No, well, to be fair, to be fair, if him did pay at same time, okay. If him did pay at same time, would I would I charge five dollar? But like how him arm, like how him hold up my business, and tie up my money. I'm supposed to pay me my replacement replacement cost. You know why I ask you that? Yeah. You know why? Yeah, explain more. All right. Have an idea. Well, I know. Yeah, you have an idea. That is the same thing concerning the gas price when it rises or uh, when it but go up or down. Yes, yes. Now, the magician, what's the magician now? The magician buy when it's cheap enough. Yeah. No, I don't know anybody who's certain about the future. You understand that, Jerry? Yeah, yeah. Now, the past teach you to live in the present. Yeah. The present teach you how to prepare for the future. Yeah, yeah. So how about stop when it's cheap? Yeah. When it get dear, don't charge the dear price, child. Mix it with them together and charge. That's yes, the China yeah. man. Trust yes, me. yes, yes. Do you understand? Yeah, man. You see what I'm going to the world now? Where you see Mr. Obama did tell them about the ganja? Trust me. So it's not a silver bullet, yeah. All right. Lone Ranger did have silver bullet, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You all right, Jerry? Yes, sir. Thank you. You tell me all right? Yeah, man. And take off your tongue. Well, I know you want to talk to my kid, but you're the same old teacher of the eleven. Yes, I... Uh, it, leave before. Yeah, yeah, because, you know, through the phone call, them get, um, get yeah. curtail. When, when, say, I'm, um, are we, you spot them same day? Near to Birmingham? Yes, man. Wait, name again, um, I forgot to him, say so the, the, the town, anyway. Wolverhampton. Wolf, Wolverhampton? Wolverhampton, yeah. One, yeah, right. Wanderers. No, let me ask you this now. Yeah. How you see them kids, them fire some more shots of money and kill some more people. Yeah, yeah. Now, when it reaches the stage with that, you can take a 10 year old, problem wrong, kill him fool, fool, look at him, and kick him and turn him out, do Yeah. But you what now, when you can't chop off him, hand, you can't find him bad in a drum, you can't judge time. Yeah. Mine will plant, like what you say. Yeah. You know, plant it. But you want to eat it. Yeah, you yeah. want poison and dead. Yeah, man. Yeah, right, Jerry. Thank you very much, yes, sir. Look easy. Yeah, man. We'll go for a break here now. Straight up. Thank you very much. Welcome. Welcome back to Straight Up. We'll get back to the telephone. Good morning. Hello. Morning. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, yes, Jerry, again. Yeah, man. Um, see him Calculus Stacy? Yeah. The hotel, hotel industry use it, you know, for them use it to figure out the rate, what more charge next, next season and all them stuff there. Well, yes. And use derivative calculus to do that. And, and, and then you have the, the, the science system and the doctor them, and them use it to figure out how much bacteria grow in a culture and all them something there. Oh, yeah? 
so uh, yeah man that's something we, we really need and we really need. anything you have with variables you know yeah and you touch the trigger and you do, do the calculus help you with that yeah, yeah. variables you have to work out yeah. but when Maccabi is down to talk about the dialect thing yeah the patois and look on the English where everybody are crazy about one time English wasn't in vogue in England you know yeah everybody they want to talk French yeah See him out and look down for my patois, so they look down for English. They have a man man talk that. They have a patois is a, a, a dialect of French or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But him, yeah, at the only time English come in vogue now was when England and France did fall out. And I think a Queen Elizabeth the first, they start right for all the time English, you know, stop use French. Oh, yeah, sir. Everybody start using English after that. Yeah. Yeah. You know? So, we, 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 have good chances so we go up to for them start recognizing the language properly, you know? Yeah. I recognize as a language. Yeah, full so full 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 we, state. We can we can give up give up on it. No, no. You know? Yeah. We might we might not have all it it might be a hard task to structure it and give it rules and stuff. But well, that, that is the thing. That is that, that is why um that is why agreement is good and rules yeah. are good because only when when only when the, 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 the meaning of a word is agreed on by most people, you can yeah. use it as a common, as a, see. you know, as a common symbol for that. True. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I understand. So, yeah, man. I don't know you go. Tag, I mean, look, how, look how English complicated. Yeah, man. How many 26 letters and them have 40 had funny, 4 40 had different sounds. Yeah, yeah. You understand, so. Problem and problem. But we will work it out. And yeah, problem and solve. Thank you, it's true. All right. Thank you very much. Here's a next one. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up Hello. Indeed, Brother Jerry. Yes, sir. What's well, going on? Interesting news on the Caribbean scene. Yeah, what that? I gather that the trial is on the way for some ministers of government over there in um, Turks and Caicos. You know, it's ruled by the British. The British still has. Yes, trial on corruption and money laundering. I get it that one of the big wigs lawyer asked the judge to put off the case for another six months. Uh -huh. But the judge said he will have none of none it. None of it. Yes. Could that be a legal maneuver to buy time? Yeah. It will be very interesting how this one unfolds. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if Mr. Jack Warner is rocking back in his chair and observing what's taking place there. And I'm rocking chair? Indeed, perhaps it would give him some ideas as to how to prepare himself, if he's they come. Yeah. Indeed, up up north. Yes, yes. By the way, Jerry, um, this chicken, this Zigby business, the question that is on the mind, I'm sure of not me, myself, and I alone, is... Are we any better off prepared today for Zigzi arrival than we were prepared for Chicken Gunya? Well, at least them paying attention to it all fairly promptly, almost in line with the surrounding countries that just get it. In yes. terms of Chick V, it was ignored and denied and all kind of thing for quite a while. Yes. And uh you know, they will also sensitize, well, they're warning about um, females, you know, trying to get them to see the, the you know, the pros of not um, getting pregnant. Yeah, the most, the most vulnerable in this time is, um, is right. fe fetuses yes. and babies okay. in the real sense. Oh, what? Indeed, indeed, yes. Could you repeat that? Fetuses and babies in the real sense. Okay, just for emphasis, that, uh, that would be a good point, yeah? Yeah, yeah. In the real sense. Uh, Jerry, um, you think it might be helpful for you to get some um, knowledgeable persons, perhaps from the university there, to come in on the program to sensitize those who are, who are already pregnant as to some um, precautions they should take? Yeah, so, yeah, the best precaution, yeah. That, that, uh, that, yeah, that's all good. And do you think that um, would-be fathers have a responsibility where they want enough, since women don't get pregnant on their own, eh? No. Uh, do you think that they have a responsibility also to um, prevent their to help well, the females from not getting pregnant? Yeah, well, look at them. Them put a mosquito net on them head. <laughs> Thank you very much, yes, sir. Indeed. Yeah. Or, or, or give them one of the um, give the lady one of the um, the, the bat, the tennis racket, the mosquito tennis racket there, and give him a shock. If him, if him, if him try to touch her, him, she just shock him with it. 
Next, no more, no more. We have some text messages, please. Yes, yeah, Jerry. Good to hear Maccabee and straight up. First time I saw him was Reggae Sunsplash 1992. He was impressive on a bill with the likes of Dennis Brown, Lucky Dube, Yellow Man, Shine It, and many more great acts. A very consistent performer coming from Dave Afarin. Next one. For a long time in this day and age, we should not be having this problem and no one cares. We need help listening to you from Nassau, Bahamas. I'm a resident of Camberwell Road, Fort George District. And it's a disgrace. There's no water there. Next one. Can Mr. Holness help us with our National Housing Trust coming around to security office? I don't know. I don't know if he can help you. I don't know why you think of him. But um, if, he, if, he can, if he can, if he can, he's supposed to hear no ball out by now. If we have, if we have no cars, we can um, run the numbers, please. In the meantime, um, in the meantime, we are here. Is that one? Let's, all right, let's get back to the telephone. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Yes, King. Greetings. Welcome, welcome. Rastafari Livet. Um, my concern today is about the Zik V, the Zik V virus. Yeah. And so what's going on with it from one country having it to the other country having it and the baby mother them and scared now to get pregnant and things like this. Yeah. I want the world to overstand. The word virus is just a poison. The word poison meaning your bloodstream became poison. So to eradicate the poison out of the blood, what people can do, the more vitamin C you put in your body is the better prevention. That is the only prevention, is vitamin C. High doses of vitamin C build the immune system. So we're looking at like lime, blend with the skin, pineapple blend with the skin. We're talking about carrot, cherry, papaya. The papaya, green papaya leaves supply a lot of vitamin C, so it helps to build the white blood cell. Right, very quick. So people can prevent the virus from hit them by building the immune system and supply your body with the natural magnesium. The magnesium now keeps the body pH level alkaline. From anywhere between eight to nine, the pH level alkaline, then you can, you don't have to worry about the virus. But make sure people protect themselves and avoid pork. Pork is something that carries several parasites carry several different form of virus. So if you have a virus in your body and you're eating pork, then you're going to make the virus that you had worse. Right? So talk to me and let me hear what you ask me, my brother. So, so you eat pork? No, sir, I don't eat pork, King. Where you do it? Where you do it? No, not all. I don't have nothing to do with the pork, sir. Oh. I don't mess with hogs, sir, because from here, sent up there, the seven devil was cast out into the pig. But Ooh. people claim that the was was grounded. When when the several devil cars was into the pig? That was the ancient of time. The king himself do it. So and all of the so one all people from that time that swine must not eat. So all of the seven devil gone in a pig? Yes. So no seven devil no nowhere else again except in a no, pig. No, only in the pig. Oh. That's where the seven devil there. But other devil, other evil spirit is in humanity. Oh. Now when you have humanity growing in a cap of all the beer behind the now, Jerry, explain this to me. How, how can that person who do that? It's hard. What is he feeling? How is he feeling? The parents them know we lose that child under that circumstances. Their heart must be ripping out their body. There can be a comfortable day for them in a situation like that. It's, it's one of the heartbreakingest thing I ever see. And it's like a child. And I say a adult where, where, where even if a adult is wrong, but I don't say it's a adult. It's like a ten year old child. Yeah, right? well, uh, well, I feel oh. agree with you. That is not something to joke around. Thank you. No, it's sad. Yeah. And when you find your people them doing this, I was on the internet yesterday and I find that a certain medication that people take cause them to commit murder. Yes, all right. them to do stupid things. That's our next ball game again. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Um, medication cause murder. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Yeah, Mr. Smart. Welcome, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, just a thought here, you know? Yes, sir. You know, I was always wondering, I was thinking, why is it that a lot of things that is being said on this very enlightening and educational program has never been challenged by, especially, people who, who are, what you call, in authority. Yeah. Then I said to myself again, um, but this is, um, is it, I realized this place is where the, the integrity test is done. Oh yeah? Yeah. And 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 almost to your credit, more time you know, 
um, me, you're testing your own integrity to him. Yeah. Yeah. Which is great, you know? Which is great. Well, you're supposed, um, to, you're supposed, to, um, you're supposed to subject yourself to... Even you must get tested for even for, for most things ever known again. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Um, Mr. Small. Yes, sir. You know, that, that, um, what do you call it, like a seminar that, that, that was kept there sometime, was it, I think it was year before last. About oh, that. the time going so fast, um, that, that, um, you were there, but I realized that you left, um, earlier. Garfield Burford was on the panel, you know, Dr. Agri Irons. Yeah, where it was again? Um, what is this well, right. hotel? Yeah, what Courtly, it, yeah, where it, it where, where the topic was again? Uh, on becoming a man. Oh, and yes, yes. Yeah, you remember that? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Um, there was a, there was a movie that they, they showed us before. Yeah. Um, you know, the discussion started. It, All right, it, just, it just like I take a break and you, and you finish. I just remember now, yes. Yes, welcome back. You are there, sir? Yes, sir. Yeah, man, you always remind us about the, um, the 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 the, 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 the meal the meal um the the the, se the seminar for you know for young men young man young males um that was yeah, held that that to get successful and yeah man get ahead in life yeah yeah um the Sparta um from my what I saw, saw in that movie it, 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 it has some level of barbarism in still you know yeah. Yeah, barbaric, and, and what I was getting from, from um, the seminar is that they were teaching us as men um, coping, cope, coping mechanism. Yes. Yeah? But look here now. Honestly, when I take a, a look into the Jamaican society, you know, we see the society as a very barbaric society still, Mr. Smart. It built, yes, it was built on that, and it has not been rehabilitated. Thank you very much. Exa that, that is what I'm getting at. And Mr. Small, um, our young men, you know, there are things that, that is being thrown at them, like, daily. Yeah. And sadly, I will say that the, 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 the media is one of the main, cul main culprits, too. Yeah? It, it, it's like they get, what I call it now, desensitized towards things that are unwholesome. Yeah. You know, it, it become like the norm now, you know, yeah, to, be, to be vicious and, and, uh, and, and, cause, and crass, what I would call crass, you know, cause, um, I, I see someone, uh, mention, or, um, I think I heard a mention of the way that Chris Gill approached the, the, the lady as being crass. I mean, I call that crass, you know, me I talk about man, you ever hear some song, if I hear some song with the youth, then I, I, I sing nowadays, Mr. Small. Yeah, man. I should not get the opportunity me to hear, hear them. Hear, me hear some of them. Because some of their own studio. Me hear some of them. Some, some murder where the youth them talk about now them song, man. You wonder which, I will realm them mind there. Mm. You understand? Then so I, this I, level of barbarism. Yeah. You know, uh, Dr. Adi Irons, I, I, I wonder what kind of step has he been taken, um, like dealing with those Speaking to those who are in authority that we know him have access to them much easier than even myself. Yeah? And ask them to do things to change this perception that even a person like me where me, me not so dull, but me not really that articulate. But me can recognize that that is so. Because of them things that them are the deep seated things that need to be changing in the society in order to put the, the, the society on a pathway. Yeah, what well, do I do? Yes, I, I want you to wait. I, I don't want you to wait till so late in the program. Call me early tomorrow and we have a longer discussion on this. Here, sir. All right, then. We'll early, do. early tomorrow. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, man. Give thanks. Yeah. I will need some more time. I will have less than nine minutes. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello? Hello? Welcome. Yeah, Mr. Smart. Yes, sir. Welcome. No, sir. My one of them shot, right? Yeah. The, the, you call it, Olympic Games will be in, in Brazil, right? Yeah. This year, right? Yeah. The don't let them, that might be the worst case, as Zeke. Yes. So, we have up that, don't let too much people expose that now. go worldwide now. Ah, oh, especially the female athlete, them. You understand? Them can't postpone it. Remember, when we really postpone festival when we have the polio? Yeah, but they, um, I, I, have, what you, have you heard if it is a life threat? Well, it threatened the baby, them quality of life, of course. Yeah. But 
And I remember you know, from one, it catch one and go, you come back to the country, gone all over the place. I have to tell people to get pregnant and all them. Some people go have sex and get pregnant the same way. Especially a lot of people going to go have sex in Brazil for the first time. You understand? Them people that have more money, you know. It's, it's the whole thing back to money and politics, you know. Them not deal with people like it. Oh, a lot of coffee in Brazil. Yeah, you understand? Is that my car to talk about here, yeah, Jerry? I very, you, very, you know? very interesting um, yeah. point, yes. It, it have to be, it must be some emergency, um... Some emergency measure them have got to take, yeah. Yeah, them have got to do something, them can't, them can't you know, I mean, it, it's found a way, but, you know. Yeah. Like, but th it, thank it, you very much for the suggestion, yes, sir? Yeah, man, cool. Next one, good morning, welcome to Straight Up, hello? Not there? Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. All right, we have some text messages. All right. Yeah, welcome back to Straight Up, good morning. Good morning, Mr. Small. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, talk about me a call things and such a worry away for a name. What? You might go and laugh after me, yeah? What, what did I say? Listen to what I said. You know what you just said, Wally? What you just said? What you just said? You're not you know, coming you know, you know, in a Wilson. No, what you just said, Wally? Is that right? No, what you just said, Wally? Is, is that right, man? Don't forget what that part is, you know, you hear what I say. Listen to what I say. From the idea, I come from the radio, I tell you that I have a whole heap of idea from big, big. I would not, I would not forget Irene with things that are in force right here. So we don't have to worry about, about US dollars. You understand? And you don't pay me the mind, you know? You don't pay me the mind. But Jerry, anyway, you see? Jerry, you see the little boy with them fine dead? Yeah. I, I walk them check, I, I, I walk them check him, but you know. Jerry, none of the people that them find it, them for do them kind of search there, you know. Because you know where we are going, you know. The little boy that them definitely for check him, but. Because I don't see no reason why nobody would, would, would want to look at any a little child like that. You understand? Yes, I got me access. All right, thanks a lot, yeah. All right, later, bye-bye. Yes, good morning and welcome to Straight Up, hello? Yeah, Jerry, I'm here again. Yes, sir. Um, No, you say you wanted to ask me a, a question, but just because time is running short, though, but one more question, because we call it tomorrow, we can talk. The chairman of the uh, Medallion Hall Hotel, I think it was, I forgot his name. He was saying one day, I was watching the TV last week, and then say, him not say what the governor general are do. Uh, you know, like him go, go in a certain areas and deal with certain people, just help them or do, something like to that effect, he said. But I have been saying that for the longest while, so them people who call themselves Christian and blah, 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 they have prayer breakfast every year. And some of the people, them, some of the big wig them, most of them are going to go there, you know, to eat one little plate of food, make nice with the, with, with, with the utensils them when you have to have some phone or them, uh, you have to feature, you hear it on the news, you hear a plate of together, and them not nah, help nobody out there. All right. When we have call early tomorrow, we could talk about it. Yeah, man, we can talk about Th that tomorrow. Yeah, man, thank you very much. I want to thank my producer, also Tanya Richards, our production assistant, Kenisha Campbell. Broadcast technician here in Stewart, we're going to take one more call. Good morning, welcome. One more call, good morning, and welcome to Straight Up, hello? Yeah, go ahead, please. Bless. Go on, good morning, welcome, welcome. Bless it, my virgin. Yeah, turn off the radio. 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 Turn yeah, man. Long time I know the uh, yeah. Wonderful job. I'm proud of the uh, Keep it up. Keep it up. Yeah, man. You live the island, but I got me. You fit send out how we can stream from a foreign artist there. I mean, love the program, my brethren. Yes, man. Thank you very much for, for really, yeah, man. Thanks for sister for telling that. Yes, yeah, man. She don't stop listening to the island, man. She's a fan. She wake up like a man, you know. The island. Yeah. <laughs> Bless her love, my brother. Keep um, all health and strength. And yeah, man. Bless. Thank you very much, here, sir. One I more. Did.
and more. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Morning, Mr. Sir. Welcome, sir. Go ahead. Yeah, pleasant morning to you and everybody there. Same to you. Um, I just had a topic with me. Do you want to say, say, to say about what you were saying about last week about the road? Yeah. Yeah, we are all right. The, I had an incident already where where a man where a man running my car back because of a patrol. Yeah. And some time some years ago on Mona Road. Yeah. There was a patrol there that caused a woman to to a car to turn over. Yeah. Yeah. Couple years ago. Yeah. And um <laughs> Well, you know, them, I, I don't know what they're really doing about the road, and then them, them, they have the, 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 the transport people, them out there, they call it, always a check your vehicle on the road, and the road. Yeah, the road examiner, the examiner, yes. Yeah, the examiner, them. Always a stop your vehicle and a check it. and a check your content, and the road no good. Yeah, so them a check your vehicle, but them not check the road. Nah, dog. Them checking your vehicle, but them not checking the road. Them not checking the road, and I, I, I every time you you fix the front end within a month, it, it, it's like it gone back to square one. Square one, gone back to square one. Gone right back to square one. Huh? <laughs> I, I, every time you go buy a part, it costs you more and more. More. Look here, we have got to do something about them. We have to do something about them. Yeah, man. For but real, thank you very man, much. Thank it, you very much. We're out of time yeah. completely, but thank you very much for the 19th of January 2016. Straight up. Sociologist and commentator Orville Taylor says, Jamaican women are capable of following the no babies at this time advice. Nurses Association of Jamaica requires more public education to match government's warning to women to delay pregnancy. PNP Youth Organization and PNP Women's Movement defend President Porsche Simpson Miller and two men charged with the shooting death of 51-year-old JUTC bus driver Albert Barnes to appear in court today.